Hey guys, we're here for Kids Art this morning. So we are going to be doing a project um, with some beginning quilling. So um, quilling is essentially rolling paper um, or different materials mm -hmm. as well. So we have all of our stuff when, um, already cut up and ready to go here. Uh, this is sort of the project we're going for here. Um, and we're gonna go over the supply list first and then we'll kind of go down into each step. So um, the first thing you'll need is um, construction paper. You may want various different colors. So that's what we're working with. Ella has some shades of pink, purple, blue, and red, I think. And David has pretty much all the colors of the rainbow over here. And you're gonna need some glue. We're gonna use a glue stick. You could probably use just the, the regular Elmer's glue or school glue that um, comes out of the tube that you squeeze. You will need a scissors. You will need a ruler. You will need a stapler. And then optionally you may want like a pencil or maybe even we'll use our glue stick. So we're gonna try different sizes of rolling paper here. So again, this is our finished product here and we're going to go over step by step on how to do this. It's actually a fairly quick project and um, not very messy. So that's kind of different from a lot of the last couple of projects that we've done. So what you want to do is we're going to start off with construction paper and so I think I either had uh, 8 by 10 or 8 and a half by 11 sizes of paper and then I went ahead and used my ruler and I measured down each of the sheets for two inch strips or approximately. It doesn't really matter the size. If you want to do them smaller, you could do an inch. Um, three inch might be a little more challenging to roll the paper, so you want to keep it um, workable with your small hands or for the kids' small hands or maybe... Um, you want to go a little bit larger, you can try that too. So anyway, you have your ruler, you're going to go ahead and measure that out, and then you're going to cut strips. So like I said, we went ahead and cut out some two-inch strips here, so um, we're kind of ahead of the game here. If you need to go ahead and cut those out, you can kind of pause the video or come back to it later and do it then. So what you're going to do is you're going to start out by making your heart shape. And so we're going to use our scissors or sorry, our stapler for that. So do you guys want to decide what color you want the shape of your heart to be here? And so I went a little bit bigger with the heart. I'm going to have these guys do a little smaller size just so we can kind of see what that looks like. Or one of you do smaller, one of you do bigger. Which one? I'll do, you do want bigger. To, you want to do just a smaller one? Let's try that because then we can wrap the paper a little bit tighter and I think it will be an interesting different look. Is that cool with you? Okay, so choose the color that you want for your heart. Who's going to, what color are you doing, Ella? Red. Okay, so Ella's going to do red. So she is going to need three sheets of paper. For Dave, for his smaller heart, we're going to do two. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the two sheets of paper and we're going to just put them together here and we're going to staple. I'm going to staple right here and right here. Got a stapler? Okay, can you staple right up there on... Um, I have like so two, I want two to different do colors. One here and one here. Can I do two different sure, colors? Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. All right, so Ella has this stapled, and so this is going to be the top of our heart. So she's got this stapled like this. So we're gonna do a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna ask her to staple another sheet onto the bottom right here. Actually, I'll do this side, you do the other side. All right, so we're gonna staple it. I'll come a little bit closer. We're gonna put a staple in right here. And one on this side. This is just to hold the two sides together. And then she's gonna complete Whoa. the heart by stapling right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and Nope, you don't need that. We just need the three sheets of paper. Dave, get out your two sheets, those two. Yep. Okay. Now, yep, there you go. 
No, it didn't go all the way through. This staple you're gonna kind of press a little bit harder. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do both your sides here. And we're out of staples. Okay. I so, have some in mine. Would you please go get some? Yeah. And then I'll finish this. Okay, I so we have our heart. So the bottom is rounded. Now you can certainly leave it like this if you want to. But what we were, just to show what we did here, is I just made this come to a point and then I creased the paper. And so now we have a heart. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, I'll we'll get another staple so we can have that held on right there. Let's go ahead and just do David's real quick. Can I do your, the top of your heart here? Yeah. So we put, a staple, again, like I said, we're gonna staple. How am I gonna staple it without any staples? <laughs> Just said it. All right, so let's put these in there. Thank goodness, I'm not sure my brain. I have my own stapler. I wonder if these are too kit. small. These are too small, I think, yeah. Okay. I will have to go get some more. So I'm gonna have Ella go ahead and start rolling the paper just so you know what it looks like. So Mine's ready. I know that, but I need to go get some staples and I want to continue on with the video here. All right, so these are all also two inches uh, of, and however long the paper is. So the idea is to go ahead and roll the paper. So you're gonna kind of squeeze it in there and roll it up nice and tight. And you're gonna start doing this here too. You know what I'm doing? Okay. So we're gonna roll that up. Sometimes it takes a while to get to the end. So that's why I said if you do a smaller heart, it's easier to fill it in. And if you have short attention spans, that might be the way to go. All right, so then we roll that up. So then you have this tight spiral here. Now, if you want this to be a little bit looser, I made various different um, rolls here. You can just take this and loosely go like this and that's gonna loosen up the roll on there. So then I just stuck that in here randomly. These are not glued in yet, so I just wanted to show you for experiment's sake. So like we did some big ones, and then I rolled up one that was a little bit smaller, and we put it inside. And so the bigger your heart here, the more area you have to fill. Yep, you're doing it right, Al. And then just keep rolling. And then we also used like a pencil. You can roll the paper around your pencil, which I actually found a little bit easier than using nothing at all. So then you just roll that up. And if your piece of paper gets like this, then you can just push it down. So there's one. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could also use your finger. So if you have tiny fingers, this may not work. Um, and then you can just wrap it around your finger like this. This is gonna give you a really loose roll. And then I just went and gave it a little squish, squish to kind of keep the circle shape. And then when you let it go, then you have a big fat roll like that. And so then Ella, we're gonna go ahead and let it go. So she almost has kind of a triangular shape here, which is kind of cool. So if you use different shaped things to roll the paper on. Now I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit. Let's see what it looks like. So you could even put that inside or you could roll it up like that and that's a little bit looser. And we'll have that to put inside of her heart. So she's gonna keep going with that. I'm gonna go grab a stapler so we can get David started here. And that's essentially the project. It's um, once you're done, so she's gonna use this big one and then she's gonna put the small one inside, which is really cool. So if you have more, oh, that's really pretty. I love it already. So we got this started here. And then, so then when you are finished here, so like, for example, this and this are not touching. So I would probably use glue to adhere it to the inside of here. Now you could also use a sheet of paper underneath to make this a little bit more supported. So you would just cut out a heart shape and then glue. I would probably use like a, a glue stick and put it all over the paper and then stick this down on top of it and give it a little press to make this stick to the background. But um, how I would do this is I would just glue the side, come in here, 
and then stick them together and then just continue on throughout your entire heart until you have everything glued together. So there's Ella's. I'm going to grab Dave's and we'll just continue on for another couple minutes and then when you guys have your finished projects, if you wouldn't mind just posting them um, on this video post so that we can kind of see what you did and we can share with some of the other kids that did this project as well. So you guys keep rolling that and then grab some. How am I supposed to roll when I don't have a heart? <laughs> you can start getting rolled right now if you want to. So Dave's going to have a little bit smaller heart so then he doesn't have quite as much to fill in. So it's looking good. Kids Art is sponsored by the Ellendale Area Arts Council and so we provide bags of supplies. You could. We provide bags of supplies to local kids. Um, with some of the major things that we use in the project, we usually don't supply things like scissors and glue because mm. hopefully you have that at home. Of course, if those are something that you would need to finish the project, just get in touch with me. Let me know. We would be happy to help you out with that. All right. So I'm going to, is this okay? I'm stapling this for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so Dave has the smaller heart, and his is actually, since I guess these papers are maybe different, are they different sizes or just different consistencies? Is size? I'm not sure. One's fat, one's... One seems like the paper is a little bit more flimsy. So we're going to go ahead and make the point down here at the bottom. All right, there is David's heart. We're going to... Yeah, but let's not crease it. There, that's better. Now you can start rolling yours. Oh, that's cool. I like the different shapes that you've got going on here, Ella. This is almost like square. This is very circular. This one's triangular. I'm just going to show you guys just kind of the different shapes she's got going on here. If you can see that, maybe that's better. Okay. So next week. This one's going to be my skinny. I like it. Next week for Kids Art, I believe we are doing oil pastel bubbles. So it's a fairly simple project, but I think it's really pretty. Um, we'll use oil pastels and black construction paper. So um, if you would like a supply bag for that, just get in touch with me. You can um, comment, message me, or text me and I will put you on the list for that. Ooh. We do have oil pastels that we will hand out for that. It'll be, um, those are, I believe, the only two things that you need for the entire project. So we'll have oil pastel crayons to give out and some black construction paper. And we'll post pictures of this once we're finished with the project as well. Hope you guys enjoy, stay warm, bye. 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 Have a great rest of your day.